With a long-standing commitment to contemporary and street art, Moniker is among the most exciting contemporary art fairs with roots embedded deeply in urban culture. Kaspersky Lab hosted a VIP collector's preview with debut galleries from all over the globe. Moniker International Art Fair made its Brooklyn debut May 3rd through May 6th. This was the first international outing for the Contemporary Art Fair which for the past nine years built a reputation in London. The list of exhibitors included 14 installations by solo artists and 14 galleries from around the world. We started as a magazine, it was called Chief, and through that we've kind of evolved to collaborate a lot more with the community, engage with more people that are leaders in their scenes and kind of bringing that all together. The way that I would best describe this art is contemporary weird. <laughs> contemporary weird, I like that. Is there such a category? We only would hope. Now there's, now. Mercart, Mercart. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it's mean it means market of arts. It's like a like a conjunction of, of two words. Okay. All right. So tell us something about the artist that uh, I see behind me. Well, the, the, our concept is to mix different kinds of arts, like street art, illustrator, illust illustration, um, painting, tattooing. And what we've got here is the selection we brought to Moniker, because as you know, the curatorship here is very tight. So we brought five artists, one painter, one surrealistic pop, one illustrator and two street artists. We've got original works and also prints. Would you call those tears of joy then? I always talk about love. I feel uh, if you ever felt like you want to tear your chest, you open your chest and you just expose your heart or give it to someone, that's what I literally paint. So intense emotions, passions. I assume the, the naked body as a, um, uh, as an identity. And I think the tattoos speak uh, strong. Uh, they're like marks that stay forever in your body. I think they're, they can say a bit, can spend. Uh, it's a good message and sometimes I bring my own tattoos in it. Well, I'm actually a lover of nudes, male and female, and that's what I've collected since the 80s. Um, do you specialize in nudes? Yeah, I mainly paint nudes and I think it's a great accomplishment for an artist to paint on the streets and to just do nudes. I think it's very important. No censorship. is my favorite because of the fact that he's an artist that doesn't doesn't do work on a conventional level um, you fi I find you find out his work is more about technique and patience and stuff like that so for instance this artist for instance um, Kingsley Kingsley over there and obviously you've got Alex Peters which really it burns into the wood once you burns into it gets a razor blade and start shading using a razor blade and I think that, for, for me, is like time and patience. He's a realistic artist. He works with mostly charcoal, pencils, you know, traditional. Um, I believe a lot of this is all like, the, the background stuff is a lot of like paper, written quotes and, you know, words to, uh, to do with empowerment, to, words to do with, you know, money and freedom and stuff like that. But ideally, it's just mixed media, acrylic, pen and paper, pa pencil and, ch and charcoal, all put into one, almost like a collage, you'd call it. So we, Creative Debuts was born out of the frustrations that myself and Alex had as we were young artists. So we were, didn't know how to navigate the art world and find our way from young artists to kind of career artists. So we set up a platform that puts artists first and gives them a free opportunity to, to learn the life of an artist. How many artists are in the collective? So we have just under 3,000 artists from all over the world and it's free to be involved um, and it's free opportunities and that, that's the key thing for us. It's about breaking down the barriers of what we think is a bit of an unfair system. So it's all about making artwork, artists and artwork more inclusive, more accessible and more diverse.